This is grade two gynecomastia surgery. Good morning guys, we're here doing a grade two gynecomastia surgery. Now this patient developed his gynecomastia during his teenage years, very common time to get gynecomastia. And no matter what he did with exercise, weight loss, weight gain, it just never went away. And so I've already done my markings here. Let me explain why this is a grade two. It's because this is where the gland is, the extra breast tissue. And so with grade two, the breast tissue goes past the areola borders, but the skin tone is fine, which his skin tone is perfect. And now, this guy actually went and saw another surgeon prior to coming to me who only recommended liposuction, did not recommend doing any excision of the gland. And his instincts told him that that didn't feel right. Um, he's been living with his gyno for years and it just feels different. Fat feels different than breast tissue. And he doesn't have a ton of breast tissue, but he has enough to, to know the difference. And I wanna demonstrate a few things on his case. He's in pretty good shape and you can see he's got this little coning that's happening on the peak of the nipple. And when I pinch here, you can see how much thickness there is here. He shouldn't have this much thickness when I pinch this area. He should have this much thickness. And this is the normal amount of subcutaneous fat that he he's got in his chest. So this needs to be like this by the end of the surgery. And so that's my goal is to, to do that. And how am I gonna do that? I'm gonna make a small incision at the base of the areola, go in, meticulously dissect away the gland from the normal structures and take that out. And then I'm gonna go in and carve out and contour any extra fat that I need to to get a better shaped chest. I'm not gonna do liposuction just to prove that that's not the right technique for this type of gyno. So I'm excited to get started. We're gonna go back to the operating room. I'll see you in there. Doing these cases without liposuction, it, you, using these little incisions, you have to do a very meticulous dissection to create that space around the gland. I've already come over it down here, as you can see right there, I'm over the gland, and then I'm now lifting it up under it, and then what I'm gonna do is come under the areola and nipple to get completely around it and then take it out. So now I'm coming over the top of the gland between the nipple and the gland here and I'm lifting the skin and fat away from the top of the gland. And then once I do that, I'll be able to get the whole gland out. And so again, a very meticulous dissection, but again, liposuction would not have helped in this case. I'm not saying you can't do liposuction in this case, the problem is you can't just do liposuction in this case. You have to take out the gland. And this guy's not gonna have a lot of fat that needs to be removed, so I'd rather get the gland out completely and then go and carve out the fat where I need to to contour his chest better. So I just took out the tissue on this left side and what I do then is sit the patient up and see where I still need to contour the chest. And it's usually in this part and this is where that fat to breast tissue junction is. So I'm gonna go back in and then take out the fat just where I want to to get that to be a nicer contour here. But you can already see this side I haven't done yet and it's fuller up here and this side has a much better contour in this upper half and then I just gotta go and contour that, but always gotta sit these patients up. You can't just do this surgery with them laying on their back because you don't really know what you're taking out. So I always sit them up multiple times to assess the contour and then go in and take this out. But liposuction would not have done what I needed it to do to get that gland out. So this is the tissue on the right side and you can see it's purely glandular tissue, this rubbery stuff. This is not fat. There's a little bit of fat on it, but this is all the gland. And so this is why liposuction wouldn't work in this case as a treatment alone. It needs the removal of this gland. And so he did the right thing by not going to the other doctor to just do lipo. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back in 
and contour this out. You can see on this side, this is the left side and where I contoured the fat. I would have done all that lipo just to get this little piece of pieces of fat out. That's not the right technique. I needed to get the gland out and then I could contour exactly where I wanted to. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side and then we'll be done. So just completed this grade two gynecomastia surgery with excision of the gland. And you can see right now, contours are great. This is the gland that I took out on each side. This is the fat that I actually took out through direct excision to get a better contour on this lower and outer part of the chest. And this is why I didn't do liposuction in this case because liposuction would have only gotten me this much more contour improvement this is the thing that was causing the shape of his chest not to be great. And so when he went to that other surgeon who recommended liposuction only, his instincts were right that that wasn't gonna do the job because breast tissue and fatty tissue are two different things. They feel different, they make the chest look different. And so his instincts were correct to get a second opinion, which was me. And now we did the surgery, he's gonna have a fantastic chest. You can see the contour of his chest already is so much better. No more coning at the areolas. You can see when I do this pinch test now, right there. It's a little slippery here, I'll do it on this side, the pinch test right there, and then right here. Very similar now. So he's gonna do great. That's never gonna come back again. But again, I wanna emphasize the point that gyno is not fat. It does not change with excess working out or dieting. Fat is different than breast tissue. He needed this and I didn't do the liposuction because I'd rather know exactly where I'm taking the fat out as opposed to just blindly taking the fat out at the beginning of the case. And so he's gonna do great. We're gonna do the dressings and we'll be done. Until next time, guys.